Hello, and welcome back to Card City Nights yet again. So, since last time I've done some more off-camera off stuff, mainly, the thing is, I'm I'm just, like, grinding stuff, and I figured you, you don't really want to watch me, like, fight Loafer for It'll Do Boosters a million times and stuff like that. So, I've just gotten some cards. Um, I did make some changes that I were, uh, that I mentioned last episode that I was gonna make, so, uh, I won't show you the, uh, the, uh, damage deck, I just added some cards to that. So, I added, let's see, what did I add? I added the Fishbun Rider, attack combo, disable a target enabled card, which is amazing for our deck. I just have to be able to combo it. I added this Frilly Hat Elf instead of something. I think it was instead of one Mildegrad or something like that. Oh, we still have two drones. I'm not sure I want that, to be honest. So, I'm thinking here... I added one more really because I had a Haku, which is just the same arrow, but it disables or removes one card from the opponent's deck. But I figured this is better to get a fast disable combo. Uh, I'm not sure, though. I'm kind of thinking the portal block... This is pretty cool. I, I tried it in my uh, my damage deck, and it's kind of annoying sometimes. It's kind of a gamble, so maybe I shouldn't include it, include it Sorry, in this deck. But uh, it's a very interesting card, nonetheless. Yeah, I think this might be good for now, at least. Uh, just give me one second to think. Okay, this might be incorrect, but I feel like I have more cards in the general left area than I do in the right, so I'm gonna remove one drone and add one Mildegrad. Or maybe I should add something else. But no, I think I'll just add a Mildegrad to get it over with. I did, as I said, uh, battle for some boosters. I battled Loafer a bunch of times. I battled the, uh, the cleaning crew some more, and I battled the uh, the ghost in here and the stone face dude in the cave. But I'll probably do some more off camera. But I'm not gonna do any uh, card synthesizing or whatever you want to call it, alchemy stuff right now. So let's just battle the scientist. And this is definitely Iosa, by the way. I uh, forgot how what uh, Iosa looked like, but looking it up afterwards, I could definitely tell. Beginning skill verification battle. Best of three, Shylock versus Scientist. Alright. So. I can actually get a pretty fast Fishbun Rider combo. Oh, Iosa. Cannot be disabled. Attack combo. This card is not removed from play. Huh. I'm not sure if I would want that if I got it pretty good, but... I don't know. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, actually, I'm gonna hold off on this combo for right now. So I think I'll do this. Mmm... I'm just gonna do this for now, and disable Mia. Dan? Uh... Yeah, again, I think I'm just gonna start making a new combo. I don't wanna do that. Alright, let's just use this combo now. So let's disable this and this, I suppose. Oh, damn. Well, that sucked. Alright, let's disable this. And here we can make a quick combo like this. I guess I'll disable this. Damn. Uh, 
and we'll just disable that. Oh shit, we can't. Forgot about that. Well, still got it. Okay. And success! Damn. Still worth it. Oh! Young Licious Turnip. Wild card is enabled. Owner takes no damage. Disabled. Damage owner won. That's fine by me. Uh, I can't combo this though. At all, that's a problem. Guess I'll just put it here for now. Perfect. Damn it. Okay, health potion time. Oh man, she's comboing a lot now. No, you don't. Now, though... Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Taking quite a lot of damage, but I should be fine, I think. Yep, we're fine. Take that. Alright, we won! Hooray! High explosive pack! Nothing new as far as I know. I mean, these are new for me, but not that we've, uh, we haven't... We've already read them before. Good, very good. Considering your skill, you might be interested in a certain card the head scientist recently received. She's in the innermost part of the lab. Just follow the arrow on the floor. Uh... Oh, and if you haven't already, please try out our alchemy service. Just speak to Salary Man. The arrow on the floor, thank you. So, I was gonna mention something that's pretty interesting. I noticed that, apparently, for some reason, I have two Mom and Son cards. Wait, let's see. Yeah, here. I can remove this, and I have two. And I have no idea how that happened. It must be some sort of bug, but I don't know, like I've only battled some people for booster packs and surely you could not get these in boosters and I would notice if I did. So it's very strange, I have no idea why that's suddenly in, like, duplicated. I guess, hint hint, if the developers watch this, they could let me know. So let's go through here. Cybermaster, that must be Jenny Deer, I think. Whoa! Dude, not a lot of science... Wait, not a lot of not science people come here, but you? You're the least science chump I've ever seen. Whoever led you in here must have been thinking you were pretty rad, yeah? But are you science? I don't think so. Tell you what though, if you're as bad as you think, you can have my legendary. I'm feeling nice today. Okay. Uh, so, click around for cards, or coins, rather. Oops, I do that so often. Alright, I think we got all the cards, probably. Maybe. Yeah, so, let's talk to her. What, cold feet? Don't chicken out now! The path of true science is paved with card battles. You want to lose real hard? I'll be happy to help. You're the talkative kind, yeah? But I'm the fighting kind. What, cold feet? Okay, let's fight, I guess. Ready to rumble! I don't know. You don't stand a chance. Oh, Shylag versus Cybermaster. Sorry, I think it was a best of three. I have no idea. No, it's a best of five. Cool. Anti Murray. We've seen this one already, actually. Um...
right, that's fine. I'm gonna gamble on her not having a combo right away, I think. Damn it! Ah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Disable this. And so I'll do this. No, you don't. Also, oh, I want to read this. Yeah. Okay. Good. Destructive Magic. Attack combo. Discard two cards from the opponent's deck. Wow. Combined card. So is that Licious Turnip plus Jenny Deer or something? Or is it Portal Wand plus... I don't know. That is that is actually a pretty interesting card. I might, might want that. Probably not for this deck, but maybe for the damage slash remove cards deck. Um, guess I'll just do this. Yep, definitely. Good, good draw. Yeah, I think we've got this round in the bag. Um, oh, Jenny Deer. Revive combo, plus two defense to owner. She is so unbelievably magic right now. From it'll do. Um, I guess I'll do this. Alright, I don't even need to make a combo. Uh, Mom and Son, hooray! We won! Ow. Actually, I'm just gonna save my potions and make a combo with uh, Brutus instead. And I'll use Tommy, I guess. Oh, right, revive first. Sweet. And revive combo. Yeah, I can just do this. Perfect. It's very good. And now... Guess I'll do this. She really likes those fire swords, don't she? Or doesn't she? Uh, I kind of have to use McCluck here, even though it's kind of a waste, but yeah, I'm gonna do it. Now I guess I'll do this. Hooray, we did it! Health Potion, finish. And... I can't do any combos with this. Can I? I can, kind of. So I'll do that. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, this is... I guess I'll do that, because I have a lot of cards like this now. So, let's disable the Skull King. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I should... Oh, yeah, I should have done Metal Mark. Oh, well. Rip Mom and Son DX. Damn it. Should have placed this here. Young Jenny Deer, defense combo plus one defense gain. She's been magic for a really long time. Huh. Cool. So, Je Jenny Deer plus someone magic? Interesting. Um. I'm just gonna disable Jenny Deer, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, 
damn, that was a waste. I didn't think about that. Too bad. Can I make a combo out of this? Oh no, I can. I can. Hooray! Doesn't even matter. Oh, EGDX. While card is enabled, owner takes no damage. Start of turn, plus one defense to owner. I won't let you down. That's really cool, actually. Huh, interesting card. Well, take damage. <laughs> we did it! Bizarre booster pack. Slime, a pathetic frog. Sweets, so we can make some cards with a pathetic frog, maybe. Double Skull King and Skull King. At least there's only one of him. There's two of them! And yeah, these are from Bunny Bon. Alright, cool. One and 140 gold. Gak! How? And I was going to try cloning this legendary too! You got a legendary! Yay! Haha! <laughs> Guess I should congratulate you! Don't worry, I don't take losses hard. Now go out there and do something awesome with that card. Preferably something science! Mysterious scientist. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. What? I could swear someone was watching me again. I'll be prepared for, for that weirdo next time. Okay. That old foggy... foggy? Foggy running Turnip Corp is so last week. He doesn't have any passion for cars, only money. I have my suspicions about who this... this mysterious precedent is. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably, uh, Iken Carver who's the president. I would imagine. No one at that backwater turnip corp is even half as science as anyone here. You can quote me on that. Keep an eye out for the biggest fan. If that guy challenges you to a card battle, you're in for a fight. Wow, they, people are really talking up the biggest fan a lot. Green Crystal is the resident motor mouth. Try talking to her. She always has something new to say. No, she doesn't. I've already ex exhausted all of the dialogue. These glasses? Your mind couldn't handle your eyes wearing these glasses. Oh, okay. You see Groove Skater around Turnip Corp? Something's going down. Fair warning. They don't make cyber gauntlets like they used to, so I made my own. This is my private lab where all the best ideas in the city are had. Maybe even in the world. Loafer tried sleeping in one of these test tubes once. What's up with that girl? And why can't she breathe underwater? <laughs> These cyber gr oh, these cyber glasses are my greatest invention. I can play games on them without anyone knowing until I bump into something anyway. Even my shirt has more processing power than any computer on the market. It's folding proteins for car genes at as we speak. Oh, cool! I'm gonna take on the head of Turnip Corp one day. Then he'll see the power of science. My hair is dyed, of course with a film of super-connecting nanomachines. Can you check your mail with your hair? Didn't think so. Is it ethical to eat cards? Good, good question. Don't go telling anyone, but Gang Leader is my cousin. Way back, she was the sweetest kid. Oh, that's amazing. So, is that like canon that Jenny Deer and Jenny uh, Fox are cousins? I don't know, maybe. Those test tubes? None of your business, not scientist. Okay, there we go. Cool. So I don't think there's anything else here, and if we talk to you scientist again. Oh yeah, we haven't talked to her after beating her, I think. These claws are specialist instruments for delicate for the delicate handling of cards. I developed them myself. It seems that most people in town don't have the time or dedication for building more than one proper deck, me included. Yeah, that, that, that is actually true. Delinquent asked us to create a card that would let him win every time. We are not here to satisfy anyone's selfish whims. 
rude skater snoops around our building sometimes. I have a feeling she's not here for mere tagging attempts. Don't overexert yourself, sal salaryman. What do you mean? I have. What do you mean? I don't know what this voice is. I have only worked 90 hours this week. Sorry. Magical Fox once tried to drink the result of a failed alchemy attempt. It was not a pretty sight. I could tell you about our fascinating discoveries concerning the card ge ge geno genome? genome? I don't know. But I'm afraid it would be hard for you to grasp. Are experiments on cards ethical? The debate is ongoing, but I'd say the recycle shop at Turnip Corp is worse than what we are doing over here. The card cane doesn't support our lab. The cards we produce are legal for use in the card game, but he questions our methods. Turnip Corp isn't thrilled about us either, but it's not like we're encroaching on their business. That's our stance anyway. Their company president sees it, sees it differently. We tried creating the perfect card, but we had to put it down after it nearly destroyed the lab. While we call it alchemy for simplicity, our card splicing service is mo most definitely based on current science. I once created a card that could speak. I still have nightmares about it. Don't let your cards near failed experiments. You'll never see them again. What? Is that a Swedish word? Seriously? Kanali? Or something? I... I have no idea. Seriously. Never heard it before. Cards. Where do they come from? Alright. Wait, no, I hadn't read that. Did Turncorp really invent them something? While I was blinded by an accident long ago, this helmet lets me perceive the world in other ways. The scientific method is simply that. A method. It is a tool with which we ask, with, with which to ask questions and at attempt to answer them. Alright, there we go. I'm not gonna bother with that line I missed. You can go back and check it if you want. Oh, missed coin before. Cool. Alright. Don't think I missed any others, though. Probably. Alright. So, I think that's going to be it for today. Next time, I guess we're just going to the bear mine. And I might do some some more grinding, like booster grinding, off camera. And maybe I'll do some card collection or card uh, combining as well, or something like that. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!